today I am going to swatch for you the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dream Glow Kit. Um, and really quick, I just want to say I purchased all these products with my own money so you know you can trust my opinion is what I honestly believe. So this is a newer product from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's been out for a little while and I picked it up and I wasn't planning on reviewing it all. I've reviewed a lot of her glow kits. I know they get a lot of reviews on YouTube, but after trying and playing with this a little bit, I thought I wanted to swatch it for you guys. Um, after reading some of the reviews online that are very complimentary of this, um, I just want to swatch it for you guys just so you guys can make a better decision on it and see what some real swatches look like because uh, it is very glittery. Uh, it's not so much glowy as it is glittery. So I thought I just wanted to swatch it for you guys really quick, not do much of a full review of it. Uh, so I wanted to just swatch it so you guys can make an independent decision on it. So um, let me start out with uh, Wish which is one of the colors, but uh, you see it in the swatch, you can definitely see it's very glittery and I'm applying with a shadow brush uh, because that's what I'm gonna be end up using this eyeshadow palette for is probably eyeshadow. It's just far too glittery for use on my cheeks or face, especially near the end of the day when uh, everything's kind of, kind of coming off your face a little bit, you're tired. Uh, things are looking a little oily or anything, then you have glitter all over your face. Uh, so I just wanted to swatch this for you really quick so you guys kind of had a better idea of it. Uh, I was surprised when I read the reviews and how complimentary they were of this. So that's when I thought, well, I got to just put something out there just so you guys can help make a better decision because this is all glitter and not so much glow. Um, and I absolutely love the Moonchild Glow Kit. And this is just a far departure from that. That was uh, beautiful, not sparkly, more kind of a urethral glow. And this one is just sparkles and sparkles and sparkles and glitter and glitter and glitter. And uh, it's hard to look sophisticated when you're wearing glitter all over your face, especially at the end of the day when it's kind of all over and kind of settles. So I just thought I'd really quickly swatch this for you guys just to make a more informed decision. But... As you can see, it's really just glitter. Um, there's not a lot of glow to it. The pigmentation is not so much there. Uh, it's all kind of surrounded by the glitter in it and the sparkles. So um, anyway, so that's kind of it. I just wanted to swatch it for you just to help you make a quick decision. But um, it's, it's a little bit harder to describe until you get home because even in the video, it's hard to see how much of it is that it is just glitter. So I just kind of wanted to warn you guys to help you save some money or time. Uh, I don't even think I'll be passing this down. I, I don't even know if I'll be using it for eyeshadow because to be honest, even using it as eyeshadow at the end of the day, you have sparkles everywhere. So I'm not exactly sure where this fits into my catalog, but, um, yeah, I miss the Moonchild days. I might have to buy another one of those. I'm not sure that they're, they're going to make another good one that's similar to that, but I, I do love that palette and this one just was too sparkly for me. So um, anyway, so there are my swatches, and uh, hopefully you guys found that helpful, and uh, that was just a quick little review for you guys, or a quick little swatch. So um, anyway, uh, thank you guys so much, and if you've picked this up, uh, let me know what you guys thought of it. Uh, everyone's kind of different, so you never know what works for one person, might not work for the other, and vice versa. So uh, leave a comment, uh, feel free to subscribe, and also check out nobsbeauty.net. Thank you so much, guys.